NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is not just looking at the stars, it's looking back in time. Heralded as a time machine able to reveal the secrets of the cosmos, this $10 billion breakthrough is humanity's strongest tool yet to capture light from the earliest observable moments of the universe. Launched by NASA in 2021, the 14,000 pound James Webb Space Telescope has already transformed our understanding of star formation, black holes, and more. Its breathtaking images of the cosmos have inspired a new generation of space enthusiasts. With such a groundbreaking machine worth billions, how can it travel back in time? The telescope exploits a fascinating feature of the physical universe. The light we see from the stars is incredibly old, showing us quite literally the past. Even though light travels at an astonishing 186,000 miles per second, the immense distances it spans mean it reaches us long after it was emitted. For example, the light from our sun takes 8 minutes to travel to Earth. The Webb telescope is designed to collect the most distant light detectable, allowing it to see nearly 13.5 billion years into the past which is roughly 3 billion years more than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, why can't NASA build this telescope on Earth? Why does it have to be based in space? Well, there's a simple answer for this, and it has to do with the fact that telescopes in space bypass Earth's dense light-filtering atmosphere. The web is in solar orbit roughly 1 million miles from the Earth. This point is called a Lagrange 2 position, a stable location where the relative gravitational poles of the Earth and the Sun cancel each other out. Not only does Webb Space Telescope capture moments from the past, but its observing surface is a marvel of engineering. 21 feet across with a honeycomb shape made of 18 hexagonal gold-plated beryllium mirrors, this makes it six times larger than the Hubble's. While the Hubble collected data on visible and ultraviolet light, the Webb is equipped to detect mid to low infrared wavelengths, allowing it to see through cosmic dust that blocks visible light. To maintain sensitivity to these infrared wavelengths, the web must stay extremely cold, close to negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. A tennis court sized sunshield keeps its instruments in permanent shadow, ensuring they remain cool. Though the web is still in its infancy, its discoveries have been rapid and groundbreaking since it began science operations in the summer of 2022. It identified well-established galaxies just 500 million years after the Big Bang, far younger than previously believed. It also pierced through cosmic dust in the nearby Rho Ophiuchi complex, capturing fascinating images of 50 young stars. Additionally, it observed nearly 50 pairs of Jupiter-sized planets orbiting each other within the Orion Nebula, a new category of celestial objects now called jumbos. And let's not forget about the ancient starlight from a quasar, one of the oldest galaxies hosting a supermassive black hole the size of 1.4 billion suns. All in all, the web has surpassed expectations well before its initial five-year mission concluded, and is expected to remain functional for up to 20 years. What more will it uncover about our universe? Only time and light will tell. Subscribe to our channel for more updates as the James Webb Space Telescope continues to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos.